Hello friends, in this video we are going to find the Laplace transform of the function if it is multiplied some factor t. So in the last videos I have solved example based on the standard formulas. After that I have solved the example based on the linear property. In last after that I have solved example on first shifting property. In first shifting property we have seen if the function is multiplied by exponential term how to find the Laplace transfer. In this video I am going to find the Laplace transfer of the given function if it is multiplied by some factor t. So we have some theorem here. We know that if L of f of t is equal to f of s then then Laplace of t to the power of n into f of t is given by minus 1 to the power of n n the derivative of n the derivative of l of n the derivative of l of f of t with respect to s. So this is the theorem. So in this theorem, we know that the definition uh, definition of Laplace is l of f of t is equal to f of s. Here I have multiplied this f of t by some factor t raised to n. After multiplying the factor t raised to n, the theorem tells that it becomes minus one to the power of n n the derivative of l of f of t with respect to s. Now, by using this formal theorem, I am going to solve some example. Now, we will take one or two example. Find Laplace transform of t into sin a. So, here we can observe the function sin a t is multiplied by some factor t. So, solution first identity formula we know that l of t to the power of l into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of n n the derivative of L of f of t with respect to s. So I will use this theorem here. So I will compare the given function with this standard function. Here we have f of t, here we have sin a. Then here we have t raised to n and in the example we have t to the power of 1. So after comparing, I can say the value of n is here 1. So therefore, L of t into sin a t this becomes minus 1 to the power of the value of n is here 1 here also the power of value of n is 1 d upon ds into L of f of t here f of t is nothing but sin a t so that is L of sin a into t so therefore L of t into sin a t is equal to minus d by ds of d by ds of we know that Laplace of sin a t is nothing but a upon a square plus a square. So L of sin t into sin a t is equal to so, minus I get as it is, a is constant here. So, we know that derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square. This becomes minus 1 upon s square plus a square whole square. Here, I have applied the formula derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square. Into derivative of s square plus a square with respect to s is Yes, k is constant here, derivative of s square is 2 into s. So therefore, L of t into sin a t is equal to minus into minus plus, it will become 2 a s 
upon a square plus a square whole square. So this is the required answer. So we'll take one more example. Find the Laplace transform of t into e to the power of minus 4t into sine 3t. I can solve this example by by two methods. In first step, first I will find Laplace of this one. Then I will apply shift. Then I will apply multiplication by t method. Or else, first I will find Laplace of sin theta. Then I will apply multiplication by t method. Then I will apply at the end I will apply shifting properties. In both way, we can find the Laplace of this example. Because here the logic is simple. If a into b, a into b is nothing but b into So first I will find Laplace of sin theta, then I will apply multi effect of multiplication by t, then at the end I will apply shifting property. Solution: Let L of t into sin three t. First I will find Laplace of t into sin three t. So here the sin three t is multiplied by t. This is so. I the power of t is one. I will apply here effect of multiplication by t method. So it becomes minus one to the power of one because the power of two e t is one here into d by d s of the log sin three into t. So therefore, the log t sin three t is equal to minus d by d s of Laplace of sin theta is nothing but three upon s square plus nine. Three upon s square plus nine. So this implies L of t into sin three t is equal to I will write minus as it is. So three is constant here. The remaining is d by d s of one upon s square plus Nine. So therefore, L of t into sin 3t is equal to minus 3. I will write as it is. Derivative of it is in the form of 1 upon x. Derivative of 1 upon x is nothing but minus 1 upon x square. It becomes minus 1 upon x square plus 9 whole square. Into derivative of this one is 2. Yes. So therefore, I will get L of T sin 3t, the log of t sin 3t is equal to minus into minus plus. It becomes 6 into s upon s square plus 9 whole square. So this is the Laplace transform of t into sin 3t. Our question is we have to find the log of t into e to the power of minus 4t into sin 3t. So now I will apply for shifting property. That is the log. e to the power of minus 4t t sin 3t now this function is multiplied by some exponential term so i will apply a shifting property now as for the shifting property yes e is replaced by yes plus 4 yes plus 4 upon yes plus 4 whole square plus 9 whole square This is the required answer. Now we will find the particular value. For effect of multiplication by t. So we will take one example here. Evaluate. Evaluate. Integration. Zero to. Infinity e to the power of minus three t t into sine t into t. So again, it is very difficult to find the integration or product of three functions. So therefore, I am using here the definition of Laplace transform. So as similar to previous examples, 
I will consider here let integration 0 to infinity. Instead of this 3, I will take here e to the power of minus s. So we have to observe here in this example at the beginning, I am going to evaluate the integration, not I am going to find the Laplace transform. So I will consider here e to the power of minus s t instead of this 3. So I will write remaining these two terms as it is p into sin d into d. Now I will apply the definition of Laplace transform. We know that 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t into d t e is equal to L of f of t. Now I will consider, uh, compare this integral with the standard integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 16 to f of t. So here the value of after comparing the value of f of t is nothing but t into sin t. So it becomes L of t into sin t. So I have converted the integral in terms of Laplace transform. So therefore Integration 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t t into sin t into d t is equal to now I will find Laplace of this one. So this is what the product of two functions. The first function is t. So here I will apply effect of multiplication by t factor. So that is here the power of t is 1. It become minus 1 to the power of 1 d by ds L of sin so this is sin d L of sin t so this becomes minus d by ds of d by ds of L of sin t is nothing but 1 upon s square plus 1 square therefore 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t into sin t into t t is equal to so derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square into 2 s this becomes 2 s upon x square plus 1 whole square so our question is we have to find the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus 3 t t into sin t. For that, I will put, I will denote this as some equation number 1, put s equal to 3 in equation number 1 on both sides. So after putting, I will get 0 to infinity t to the power of minus 3t, t sin t into dt is equal to, so I will put here, the value of s is 3, 2 into 3 is 6 upon so 3 square is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 square is 100. So therefore, integration 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 3t, t into sin t into d t is equal to 3 upon 50. This is the required answer. We will take one more example. Evaluate integration 0 to t sorry 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 2t t into sin square of t into so again it is very difficult to value this integral I will use here the definition of Laplace transform solution let 0 to infinity Instead of this 2, I will consider here, yes, e to the power of minus s t t sin square t into d. Now, I will apply the definition of Laplace transfer. So, I will compare this integral with the definition of Laplace transfer. This is f of t. So, this becomes 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into f of t in the but L of f of t. So it is become L of t into sin square t. So therefore, integration 
zero to infinity t to the power of minus s t t sin square t into dt is equal to so this is the product of trigonometric and t so i will apply here effect of multiplication by t factor because the function sin square is multiplied by t so the power of t is here one it becomes minus 1 to the power of 1 d by ds of l of sin square t so this implies zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t t sin square t into dt e is equal to minus d by ds of laplace of sin square we cannot apply formula here first i will use multiple angle formula i will convert this into linear form then i will apply the laplace so you know the sin square t in terms of cos is 1 minus cos 2t upon 2 so therefore integration 0 to infinity e to power of minus st t into sin square t into dt is equal to so 1 upon 2 is constant i will take outside the i will take outside the laplace so now first i will find laplace of 1 that is laplace of 1 is 1 upon yes minus laplace of cos 2t is yes upon yes upon s square plus 4 so therefore integration 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t t into sin square t into d t is equal to minus 1 upon 2 i will write as it is derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square minus here we are having the function s in the denominator as well as numerator therefore i will apply a quotient formula so it becomes x square plus 4 whole square right denominator as it is derivative of this s is 1 minus right numerator as it is derivative of the denominator is 2 into s so this implies minus 1 upon 2 Minus one upon x square minus minus two x square. This x square becomes minus x square becomes plus x square minus four upon x square plus four four square. Now we derive some some equation number one. So I want here. e to the power of integration we have to value here integration 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 2t for that i will put less equal to 2 in equation number 1 so therefore i get here 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 2t t sin square t into dt is equal to i will write this minus 1 upon 2 as it is minus 1 upon put square is Minus one upon four plus two square is nothing but four. Four minus four is zero. Zero upon any number is zero. So finally, I will get minus into minus plus one upon k. So this is the required answer. In this video, we have seen the effect of multiplication by t factor and particular value of that function. Thank you.